From DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com, I'm Darren Marlar, and this is your Daily Dose of Weird News. A dozen years ago, a guy from England had a brilliant plan for making money on the internet. He would create a website made up of a million pixels arranged in a 1,000 by 1,000 grid and then sell 10 by 10 blocks for one dollar. Well, today, in 2017, people are still finding creative ways to make a quick buck online. For example, how many people paid a dollar to see how many people paid a dollar.com? <laughs> the owner of this site he makes money by selling you for one dollar the right to see how many people have paid one dollar to see how many people have done the thing you just did. And I have to admit, I did check out the site. It was really tempting to spend that dollar, but I, I didn't. A driver in England crashed his $340,000 Ferrari an hour after he bought it. The sports car was totaled, but the driver walked away with only cuts and bruises. Also totaled was the guy's ego and his rate on auto insurance. A supermarket in Scotland has come up with a relaxed checkout line where people are encouraged to take their time, talk, and ask the cashier questions. That sounds like a great idea. As long as nobody is behind you. If there is, then that sucks! Now they're talking about Sean Spicer being on the next season of Dancing with the Stars. Well, he's already used to dancing around reporters' questions, so why not? When police in England stopped a taxi driver for speeding one recent evening, he blamed it on his passenger's foul-smelling flatulence. See, now there's a lesson to be learned here, folks. If the farts are in your car, you can't drive away from them, no matter how fast you go. The Pentagon reportedly spends $84 million on erectile dysfunction medication every year. Yeah, okay, you know, somebody needs to show me in writing what the definition of national defense actually is in this country. Women prefer real men, as in men who have hairy chests and beer bellies, rather than men who dress well and get manicures. That's the word from a survey of British women conducted by Lion Bar Ice Cream. They found 80 percent of women consider the metrosexual traits of hair straightening and frequent tanning to be a sexual turnoff. The poll also found that 10 percent of women like the smell of beer on a man's breath. 20 percent admitted that they're attracted to men with a bit of a body odor. Well then, if I'm ever single again, I'm moving to Britain post-haste! Anne Hathaway is in talks for the title role in a live-action Barbie movie, which sounds almost as appealing as a sequel to Gem and the Holograms. Almost. If you want to be so happy, whistle while you work, either literally or figuratively. You need to find a job that offers meaningful work where you believe your contributions are adding to the company's big goals. That can be the most powerful force to keeping people happy, says Dr. Jonathan Habelsman, an associate professor of organizational behavior at the University of Alabama. While a competitive salary and benefit packages are essential, they are not what ultimately make us happy at work or stay at the job. One way to achieve a happy workplace is through job crafting. This is a radical idea, at least from the boss's point of view, where employees write their own job description based on what they're interested in with specific tasks that suit their skills and make them happy. <laughs> well, I, all right, I can understand why the boss might be a bit nervous about that idea. I mean, my perfect job description would be spending eight hours a day watching Netflix while eating Cheetos. How much can I get paid for that? Christy Brinkley says it's hard to meet nice guys at the age of 63. Yeah, you know what, I'm finding that a bit difficult to believe because, well, she's Christy Brinkley and men from the age of 20 to 120 want to date her. Because she's Christy Brinkley. People in Iceland really want drivers to stop looking at the Northern Lights. Iceland's Road and Coastal Administration is trying to figure out how to deal with tourists suddenly parking their cars in the middle of Iceland's highway to snap photos of the lights. Uh, have they tried turning off the light switch? President Trump donated his entire second quarter salary as president to the Department of Education, where teachers will educate our children in the English language so they can someday become president of the United States and speak with a sixth grade vocabulary. For a brief period on Thursday, Amazon CEO Jeff Bezos overtook Bill Gates as the world's richest person with $90.9 billion. Good for him! He no longer has to rent his bowling shoes. Please support my channel by sharing the Daily Dose of Weird News on Facebook, Twitter, Reddit, and other social networks. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe if you want to see more. 
and click that little bell icon next to the subscribe button to be notified when I post new videos. You can find even more weird news that I didn't have time for at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. I'm Darren Marlar, and I'll see you next time, weirdos!